Hi, I watched We Best Love, number one for you. I'm fighting Mr. Succumb, and here's my review. In school, since elementary, Jo Shu He can't help but end up second in every competition, and the person who always finishes first is Gao Shede. Because of this, Jo Shu He kind of hates him and sees him as a rival because he wants the first place, he wants to beat him. So this is my second watch of the drama and I'm really not going to beat around the bush for too long. I think it's a very very strong season and if you've watched my top 20 drama of 2021 then <laughs> you know I really loved it. After the first time I've watched it, I just couldn't get over it. I had to watch multiple and multiple videos on YouTube and to this day it still recommends them to me uh, because they just have such a nice chemistry. Both the actors first act very very well. I think they portray their characters really well and you can feel it between the two of them. They really have such a great chemistry. So when you watch them, they're just so cute together. Well, they really act well in front of each other and it's so nice to watch. I just needed to see their moments more and more and more. Honestly, it feels like I actually don't really have much to say because I just think that everything is so perfect that you can't really comment on anything. Like, yeah, their acting is really on top. The story, how it's made, it's, it's so nice and you can relate to both characters. You can really relate to Gao Shede, what he does and why he does it. But you can also really relate to Zhou Shu He, who just never thought of it this way in the first place. And, and the evolution of their relationship, maybe, maybe I would say this, maybe if it's one thing I could say, maybe a bit fast, especially on Jo Shui's part around the end of the season. But you know, it still works really well and we actually don't really know how much time passes at that moment. So it's quite okay and honestly, I wouldn't lower my rating just for this. But yeah, I just wrote a few little notes, really details that I want to mention, but I think it's best to put them in a spot. So first, I don't know if it's just me, but Gao Shede singing for Zhou Shu Yi was so embarrassing to watch. Oh, I, I, I had to hide myself because, I don't know, I think I'm really shy in the first place to sing. So singing to someone else and actually the person he likes, singing in front of him just like that. I don't know, it feels so intimate and and soft and I don't know I was so embarrassed so tell me if it was the same for you if, or if it's just me I don't know <laughs> but I had to let it out of my chest you know again another detail and pff, it didn't even need to be in a spoil pass but I completely forgot they used a French word I always like it when they use French in dramas so yeah abruti uh, yeah I completely forgot Okay, and last thing is a bit more detailed. I think it's the bridge scene. <sighs> the bridge scene. So many feelings. I remember the first time I watched it. I actually watched the scene multiple times in a row because I couldn't get around the, all the feelings there is at that moment. And I think everyone would agree with it. The acting at this moment is also Ah, <laughs> it's really great. Both of them are crying and there are just so much emotion pouring out at this moment. Well, to be honest, you always see emotions pouring out of Gao Shida's eyes. I, I, in my opinion, I think he's just always so showing of his emotions. They just show through his eyes. But at this moment, it was just the both of them and it was kind of soft, but so intense at the same time. It kind of gives you goosebumps when you're watching it. So yeah, such, such a great scene. Yeah, I could watch it multiple times and never get tired of this scene. It's, it's just so full of emotions and finally there are starts. So it's even more interesting to watch. 
Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the second season, which is Fighting Mr. Second. First, I'm going to talk a bit about Gao Shide and Joshui's relationship, and then I'm actually having a little moment for the secondary couple that we see quite a lot in this season. Because of this, uh, I think everything's going to be spoiled from now on. Okay, so first, Gao Shide. The guy is so stupid. I, I think we all agree on this. I mean, what did he expect? Did he really think that the father would live up to his promise after five years? I really don't know how he could believe such a thing. I mean, it's really stupid. And five years, it's not a year, two years. It's five years. It's super long. And you're just gotten together. I mean, you're very stupid. But at the same time, I can understand where it comes from and I think the drama really does a good thing at, at emphasizing that and not portraying him as just stupid. Sure it was stupid what he did but you can also understand where it comes from because really the poor guy since he liked Zhou Shui never ever thought he would actually end up being with him one day. He never thought Zhou Shui would reciprocate his feeling one day. So. I think, yeah, despite always being the number one, you know, it just has this huge kind of inferiority complex and also he just has no confidence in himself. And the scene that actually got me a bit, uh, I don't know, you know, this kind of scene, uh, I think we're all thinking of the same. It's the scene where he shows up at Joshua E's drunk and there's all this scene on the sofa. So very mixed feelings about this scene because on one side I kind of really like it because there's so much raw emotion like wow Gao Shede is really crying so hard and his emotions I was really hurting watching him like physically my chest was kind of painful and tight when I was watching him because I was just feeling so sad and you know when he utters this sentence I shouldn't have went to America. Ah! You know, it's just, you just feel all his emotion and his acting is there, really up there. So from one side, I really like this. However, the rational part of me doesn't really like the fact that it's kind of a very forceful scene. I mean, Gao should literally flew Joshui on the sofa. Um, I think at the end of the day, I kind of still go with it because it's fiction. It's not real life. But yeah, still, I have a tiny bit of... Mm. You know, in real life, a drunk guy does that to you. <laughs> I would be so freaking scared. I would be crying. So that's the little thing I didn't like in their part. Okay, now the second couple, and I think it's actually this second couple who brought my rating a bit down because I remember the first time I was a bit interested into them, but not that much. And this time, no, I, I really wasn't. For, for some reason, I thought there was a scene in this drama where we actually get to realize that um, the doc, <laughs> I can't remember his name, this guy who doesn't feel emotion actually started having emotion. I was sure there was a scene where he was talking about it with the other guy, that he realized that he was actually feeling emotions with him. But no, it doesn't happen. So I don't know, it must come from another drama or something else I watched, but... Like first season, there's a scene I really liked and really showed the acting skills of the secondary character is at the end when he brings back all the things he had kept uh, throughout the years and gives it back. At this moment, he has a monologue while walking really slowly and wow, 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 wow. The performance here is so good. Like, I really didn't expect much from the secondary couple but this performance is incredible. I mean, all the emotions you can feel and, and everything he says and how he starts crying and sometimes he smiles and as he remembers a lot of things. 
So first I want to say shout out to his performance at this moment because it was really incredible. Now, the thing I want to talk about, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way, but clearly the other guy is not emotionless, not at all. He says he's emotionless, he doesn't feel anything, he just mimics what other people do in certain situations to fit in and to not make them uncomfortable. Okay. So I don't know if it's supposed to be this way and he actually shows emotions or if it's just not well done at all. But the guy throughout the drama, even season one, keeps showing emotions. I mean, you say you don't have emotions, but a second later you sigh like you're so annoyed. All by yourself. I mean, there's no one around you. So why are you showing that you're pissed off? I mean, that's an emotion. Longing for someone or wondering if if they're all right, because I mean, that's what happens basically in the first season with the cup. He doesn't want to throw it away. Why? Because it holds something to him. It has some kind of emotion linked to it. So that's why he can't throw it away. So the whole time, I just couldn't believe him when he was saying that he had no emotions because every time he would show emotions when he was all by himself. And last thing I want to finish on, I don't think there's going to be a third season because it's been a while now since second season. So I think second season was the end, but if it is, it's really abrupt. It doesn't really finishes. Well, kind of, it does finish both stories, but it finishes it in a very weird way. For some reason, I don't know, I kind of wanted to see Gaoshe de meet the dad and I wanted them to have kind of a proper conversation. Sure, they do have one at some point, but I think it would have been nice to just show us a bit more of it. And same for the secondary couple. I don't know, what kind of talk did they really have after the guy told him to come back? Like, it's okay, okay, we can be friends, you can stay, but I can't love you the same way you do. I don't know, I feel like it was just cut so... It didn't really feel like a real ending. I think I wouldn't have been against a last episode, really. But yeah, apart from that, this is all I have to say on this drama. Honestly, like I said, first season, really, really, really good. I really loved it so much. Second se season, a bit weaker compared to the first, especially because of the huge presence of a secondary couple that I was not such a huge fan of. Overall, it's a really, really enjoyable drama. And if you haven't watched it, I absolutely recommend it. But yeah, don't hesitate you to, to tell me in the comments what you thought about the drama and if you have the same feelings I did, especially about uh, the secondary couple and the scene uh, in second season two. I hope you liked the drama and you also liked this video. And that will be it for me for today. Bye bye.